Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing your weekly reading. And this is going to be for my Aries. And this will be for the week of the 26th of April through May 2nd. Hope you guys had a great week. My week has been good. Um, I'm playing some flute some Indian flute music in the background. Um, and I am trying out this new lighting. So guys, let me know um, down in the comments if it's a good, if it's good or not. Um, I have a hard time seeing underneath, unless I'm under a bright light. Everything looks like it goes together, um, even with my bifocals on. And um, if I'm not under a light, it's, it kind of, it's hard for me, harder for me to read. Um, so let me know if it's too much light or too little light or if you have any different suggestions. Um, anyway, um, my puppy's in here. So if you hear some snoring, it's him. And we're doing a little bit of moving around here. So you may hear some moving. Um, so I just want to let you guys know. So let's get these five shuffles and we will see what is going on with my Aries. There's one. Two, three, four, one more. You guys are my last one today. I did them backwards today. Usually I start with you guys and end with um, Pisces, but I did it backwards today, so you guys are my last one today. So, anyways, let's get on with your reading and see what's going on with you guys. Angels, guides, and Spirits, what is it that Aries needs to know for the week of April 26th through May 2nd, please? It wanted to come out, but then it didn't. Ooh, good card so far, guys. Two more. Come huh, on, two more. One more. There it is. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. So the first card that I read for you guys are going to be your inner influence cards. These are the cards that are closest to you or the ones that are here now and or the ones that are coming in soon. I have the stork. Okay. This is the seven of hearts. This is um, a change in your residence. You may be moving. Somebody may be moving in. Somebody may be moving out. You may be having some home renovations. You may be buying a home. Um, something to do with your residence is going to be changing, and it's going to be changing for the better. King of Diamonds is the letter. Okay, this is a, a good old, good tidings are coming into you, um, and it may be coming in the form of a letter or through the mail. Next card, three of spades. This is the number 10 card. This is the pig. The most phenomenal card in the deck. You will have phenomenal success. Phenomenal luck. Great abundance. High honors. Um, all of your ambitions will be obtained with this card. This is a great card to get. Six of hearts. This is the house. This is success. Um, success in all of your ventures. Okay, it is a happy uh, and prosperous life. Um, it may also predict a marriage. 
Five of Clubs is the Clover. This is good tidings are coming to you. That is awesome. Happiness is coming. Happiness will follow. Nine of Hearts is the ship. This is riches, okay? This is riches um, by an inheritance or a trade. Working with your hands, doing something with your hands, you will get wealthy that way. Um, it also foretells maybe a voyage. Maybe you will be going on a vacation or you will be taking a trip or something to do with water, a boat, maybe fishing, maybe being by the water. Um, you may be having some kind of a voyage that way. Um, it can also be talking about a water sign. Okay, so it can be talking about a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Scorpio, or a Pisces that they may be talking about. Jack of Diamonds is the rider. Good news is coming, and it's going to be coming to you quickly. Then I have the Honor card. This is the Jack of Clubs. This is, you're going to be recognized for the labor that you do, the hard work that you do. Um, and it is business success. So you will be successful in business and you will be recognized. That's awesome. All right, let's look at your outer cards now. Um, these are the cards that are out there. They're sitting there waiting to come into you. Okay, I have a flattery. Um, we have the cat. The Eight of Hearts. So some flattery is going to be coming into you. Somebody may be uh, flattering you um, in some way. There may be this mysterious person that's coming into you. Um, it could be uh, maybe a secret admirer of some sort. Three of Diamonds. This is the money safe. It's directly above you. So this is... Your money is not going to change. Um, you, the money that you've been bringing in is going to—it's going to stay stable. It's going to stay about the same as it is now. Seven of diamonds. This is the flames. Um, this is good fortune is going to be coming into you, um, and, and this is the veil card. Okay, this puts this veil up around you, this protective veil, so that nothing is going to harm you. Um, uh, anything that is null, um, it's going to null and void anything bad that is coming into you. So that's a good card to have. It also talks about a fire sign. Okay. So it can be talking about another Aries, um, a Leo or a Sagittarius coming into you, maybe helping you in some way. Two of spades. The star card. This is success in all of your enterprises. Success is coming to you. The ace of spades is the rapiers. This is a warning against a threat. So somebody might threaten you. Um, you have that fire card, so I, it's not going to do anything. Um, you know, I don't think this is going to happen. I don't think this is going to come in. Um, but to just be on the lookout that there may be some kind of a threat. Um, it's going to occur sooner or later. But I feel as if it's going to be something little. Um, maybe somebody with the, some road rage maybe pull out in front of you and it might shock you. You know, and you might be, damn that person. You know, something along that lines. Ten of hearts. This is that bouquet of flowers. You're going to have a long and a happy life. Children, maybe. Um, this is if you are looking to have children. This is a good indication for children. And it is, um, you're going to be honored and you're going to have fame. So that's awesome. Then I have the King of Clubs. This is the success. It is success. Um, it is a motherly type success, a loving success, a caring success. So you're going to have that caring um, success, that loving success that is nurturing. Four of Hearts is the fish. This is um, riches. Riches through Stocks. So if you are not in the stock market, I suggest you put some monies into the stock market. You will gain some riches through stocks. Uh, you can be a little emotional um, coming up. So your emotions may play a little bit um, with you uh, coming up here. Um, it can be talking about a water sign also. So a Cancer, a Scorpio, or maybe a Pisces coming into you. So that is your main reading, my loves. So let's talk to the universe. Universe, give me some clarification on that reading I just did for my Aries, please. 
One. Let's do four shuffles. Two. Three. One more. Four. All right, universe, give me some clarification on that reading I just did for my Aries or um, give us some more input. Give us some clarification. Please and thank you. Okay, I have ancestors. I have Milky Way and Childhood. Okay, so look into your ancestors. There's something in your generations, the people that have come down from you, that they want you to look at. Um, they could be uh, wanting to show you something or maybe there's something that you need to learn. Um, then I have um, that Milky Way. Look at things through different perspectives. You know, look at how you want to, to go somewhere. If you want to get money, or if you want to gain a new job, look at different perspectives of how to get that, you know, how to gain that, you know, um, wish for it, look for it, um, work towards it, you know, um, that kind of thing. So change your perspectives. Look at things through different avenues. I also have that childhood. That's innocence. Look at things through the child's eyes. Look at things in new ways. You know, um, a child looks at something as if it's brand new, right? They look at a, look at maybe a, uh, a crystal or a rock and say, oh, wow, isn't that beautiful? And we just look at it and say, yeah, mm -hmm, whatever. Take a deep look, you know, look at that and see if you see, you know, kind of when we, um, as we get older, we lose our perspective in things because we see that so often that we don't see things as new, new and innocent. So look at things as new and innocent. All right. Let's uh, ask Spirit to give us a card um, that you guys need to hear. Um, give me a card that Aries needs to hear um, for the week, please. What is it that... Hey guys, cards are just flying out here. Whew, it's warm in here. Okay, dearest you, we know everything in the universe is perfect, even in its flaws. And we view the creation of spirit in total awe. All is unique, yet part of a unity of existence. But the human experience is a little different from ours. You tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal. And this isn't serving you right now. So forget your idea of perfection and see through our eyes, allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something instead of entering life with all its flossomeness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be who they are too, imperfect and human, complex or simple. It doesn't matter, for there is always something to discover, experience, and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable. Loving you like crazy. So kind of like what I said, right? Look at things new. Don't think that um, everything has to be perfect. You know, don't look as if things have to be ideal because they don't. You know, if we look at things through different aspects, different um, light per se, it is something new, then things are going to start to flow. You know, those new experience, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter if we, if they're complex or if they're simple, you know, um, all it matters is if we look at things as a new experience, right? 
Sorry, I'm hot. It's hot in this room for some reason. All right, so let's give you guys one more card. Let's give you a reflection card for the week and um, see what it is that you guys need to reflect on for the week. Give me a reflection card for my Aries, please. A card they can reflect on. I am willing to let go. I am willing to let go. I release others to experience whatever is meaningful to them. And I am free to create that which is meaningful to me. Let others create what's meaningful to them, right? And you create what's meaningful for you. I am willing to let go. Be willing to let go. Be willing to change. Be willing to let go of the past. I hope that helps, guys. Remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. That gives you that better picture into your full reading. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing week. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.